This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Once again, welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, in the previous video, we have seen the concept of uh, uh, how to call get APIs in Cypress. Right, and we were using cy.request method and then we were holding the response in the response object and then we were fetching the values and then we were expecting writing the assertions over there. Perfect. Now, uh, there is one more way of doing it. If you read this particular documentation, they say that, okay, hey, you can create the alias of the request using dot as method, which is something very interesting. So what you have to do, you simply write cy.request, pass the whatever the URL parameter that you want to pass, and then simply use as, and then write any allies. <clears throat> Let's see for user API, for product API, for a customer API, or for category API. You simply write an allies and use this allies for your further, okay, uh, for further uh, logic or further uh, request or further response if you're getting it like that. Okay, so, and the same allies can be used, okay, for, uh, for your further APIs. Now, what we have to do that? Let's see. Let's take some example, okay? And then you will understand better. So I'll do one thing. Let me create one more uh, file over here. And then I simply say that, okay, API underscore, or I'll say that, okay, this is my get underscore API underscore uh, test with alias.js, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do that, uh, along with that, we will be using one more concept here, okay? One more concept that uh, you go to your cypress.js and here you just maintain your base URL over here. So let's see for, I'll be automating, I'll just pick that, okay, let's see this particular API, right? And I'll be automating this, uh, this is my base URL always, request res.in and API, right? And this is my base URL. So you create one base URL over here in your cypress.js and that will behave like a global parameter for me, okay? So simple, right? Base U capital R small L small like that, right? Simple maintain this particular base URL over here. Now go back to this guy and then start writing your uh, test cases over here. So I'll simple write one my describe over here quickly. That uh, yeah. So okay, let's take this one. And the describe is uh, let's see, API testing with okay, API testing with the uh, allies okay whatever the name you want to give i'm just i'm not bothered about it and then i'm using a lambda over here which is like this okay over here like that and uh, then i'll be closing a bracket like this over here as well okay perfect right now see it carefully what I'm going to do that, okay, I'll be calling one before each method, okay? It means before every test, please uh, run this guy. And then let's see. So I simply write uh, like this over here. And before each here, I simply call my cy.request. Sorry about that. My suggestions are somehow not coming, but anyways cy dot a request and what is the url that you are going to hit so now you don't need to pass the complete url so what is the url that we are using over here right it will automatically pick that particular url this is my base url so i just simple pass it okay after my base url what is your service url so that is my service url right like this so this base url will be picked from cypress.json and you just need to pass user question mark and if you have any path parameter you can write it like this question mark and then you use one method as method for allies and then give an allies. So what kind of API? Let's see, this is my user's API. What is the name you want to give? This is my user's API that I have created. So this is the before each method I have written. Before each method will be executed before every it block, before every test that we have written. Now I'm going to write my first it block over here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to write my first it block that, okay, yeah, that uh, description is, let's see, validate the header. I want to validate the header. validate the header info okay something like this i'm going to write and then i simply write my cy dot uh, get now i'll be using cy dot get and whatever the allies that you are using it the same allies you can use with what single code at the rate users over here 
that's it and then we have one more method that is called its method guys and then when you hit this particular api from here use this api okay as users api and from there what do you want from there pick its headers i simply write headers over here and then headers what do you mean by headers headers pick its which header so if you hit this particular api in the header in the response header let's see we are getting content type over here right you can see that that i'm getting content type over here so which header you want to pick content type should be equal to this application json like this so let's see which header you want to pick i want to pick content header or content type actually and then it should be equal to so i'll be writing one should over here that okay it should be equal to what it should include or you can write contain also it should include what it should include this guy application json character set is equal to utf8 like this it should include and this is the first test let's see that i have written over here okay so i'll repeat once again it's very simple first you uh, store your uh, base url over here this is the base url not the complete api url i'm talking about and then you just need to write one describe before each and then maintain one alias that okay yeah this is my user api okay so let's see for all the user api i'll just using this particular alias you create one alias with the help of as method okay and you can see the description over here that you can use the alias as method like this now let's see this is my comments api okay and then from the comment api you simply use like this cy dot get the users its header go to the content type should include like this if you don't want to use its format you can simply directly write it like this that we have last time we did it right cy dot get at commands should get the response and then you write number of expected okay assertions over here like that so like this also you can do that but like this also this is more systematic way cy dot get its header go to its content type and should include like this also you can do that so my intention is to teach you that okay there are there is one more method that is called its method you can do that and let's see if it is working or not so i'll be opening my cypress and uh, let's see if it is working or not let's see so you can validate any header over there so now this is with aliases so let's run it and let's see so it's saying yeah it's running perfect see you can see my test is absolutely working fine it's see the see the documentation in the logs it's saying yeah it's get this user api which is pointing to this and the users is pointing to this so this is the allies it will create this is the beauty of cypress right this is allies it will show that okay yeah this is my user api and go to its header get the content type it should be equal to application json perfect like that now let's say i want to validate my status so let's say i'll write one more test over here for a status and uh, validate the status code right so go to users same user allies you have to use now what we have to do we have to get the status and the status should be equal to what then it should equal i'll be writing it should be equal to what it should be equal to 200 over here like that now let's see the second test is working fine or not see second test is all absolutely working fine that it's equal to 200 perfect right now i want to verify that uh, the body this time let's see i'll go to postman you go to body and the body should contain something let's see uh, <clears throat> body should contain total pages is equal to two you can see that total page equal to two so how to do that so now let's see validate total pages in body so how to do that go to users from the users what do you want from the users this time i don't want a status i want body go to the response body and then it should what it should contain i simple write it should contain it should contain what sorry it should contain now see it carefully how will you write it put a bracket over here like this and then it should contain this total pages okay should be two so total pages the value should be two it means it should contain this particular json object so let's see if this is working or not perfect see it's containing yeah total pages of two absolutely working fine 
right? So this is a single JSON object that we have. What if I want to fetch some value from the array, from the data array? How will you do that? This is again very simple. Let's we write one more test case over here, and then I want to verify that. Okay, verify, um, a verify user info in a data a JSON array. So what you have to do, you go to users, right? From this particular users, let me remove this guy first. From this particular user, you go to JSON body, and then you have to write then over here. And then what do you want? Sorry. And then you simply write that, okay, the store the same way, the store in a particular, okay, response object over here. And then you simply write, this response object should be, I'll be using like this, this response object, I'll be using response, or I can write one expect over here that expect what this particular response a dot data and the data is zero. Let's say I'll go to the first uh, okay JSON object a dot it should has dot property that we already used last time. That which property? Let's see the first data should be first name is equal to Michelle like that. So I'll be using first name like that comma michelle i just copy paste exact thing michelle over here and uh, yep so this is also fine let me check everything is fine so yeah this is the closing bracket we have to use that okay now let's see in cypress it's working or not see validate the user info in data json array it should be first name is equal to michelle for which user for the first user data zero so like this also you can do that. So what we have written, we have checked header also, we have checked the status also, we have checked the single JSON object, we have checked the value from the JSON array also. So like this also you can simply do that. You can use its, you can use Alasis, very powerful. Tomorrow you want to use, let's say some other product API, you simply create one more uh, test file for that. Okay, don't use it in the same, okay, in the same file, you create one more JS file. Let's see for the comments API, for the product API, and then simply use at the red products, its header and whatever you want to verify. So systematically you can design your test cases and then you see the output like this in the response. Absolutely, work, absolutely working fine, right? This is my user API. So with the allies you can check and the moment you mouse over, it will tell you okay, hey, which allies, this allies is pointing to this particular URL. You can use that, okay? So I'll give you an assignment that, okay guys, please uh, do the same thing with sir, okay, with this particular API, okay? This Heroku app uses API and try to validate all these things along with the status code, along with the header. Header is also coming, content type is application JSON, like that, okay? Perfect, so this is also I really wanted to cover. So thank you so much guys, thanks for watching this particular video. In the next video, I'll be telling you how to do post, delete, such kind of APIs, how to call them. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you are really liking this, okay, these Cypress videos. And uh, let me know if you have any issues and concerns. Thanks a lot.